New discoveries in paleontology are always exciting. They give us a glimpse into the past. A recent study has changed our understanding of a famous dinosaur, Saurophaganax. This massive predator, once thought to be the king of its time, is no more. The study reveals that its bones were misinterpreted. Saurophaganax, as we know it, never existed. This revelation sends ripples through the scientific community. It forces us to reevaluate the ecosystem of the Jurassic period. The study focuses on the Morrison Formation. This fossil-rich area in the United States has yielded many dinosaur specimens. It's here that the story of Saurophaganax began, and now it's here that its myth is dispelled. The Morrison Formation is a gold mine for paleontologists. This vast expanse of sedimentary rock stretches across several American states. It dates back to the late Jurassic period, around 155 to 145 million years ago. The Morrison Formation paints a vivid picture of a prehistoric world. Fossils of iconic dinosaurs like Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus and Allosaurus have been unearthed here. The abundance and diversity of fossils make the Morrison Formation crucial to understanding the late Jurassic. It was in this ancient landscape that Saurophaganax was thought to have reigned supreme. Saurophaganax was first described in the 1930s. Based on fragmentary remains, it was depicted as a giant predator. It was thought to be even larger than Allosaurus, the apex predator of the Morrison Formation. The limited fossil evidence, however, made it difficult to be certain about its size and classification. Despite the lack of complete skeletons, Saurophaganax captured the imagination. It became a symbol of the power and mystery of the Jurassic period. Museums displayed its reconstructed skeleton, showcasing its immense size and predatory prowess. The recent study, however, challenges this long-held image. Section 4. Chimera, a puzzle of bones. The new study meticulously re-examined the Saurophaganax holotype. The holotype, a designated specimen, serves as the anchor for identifying and classifying a species. The researchers discovered something astonishing. The bones didn't belong to a single individual. It was a chimera, a collection of bones from different species. The massive size that defined Saurophaganax was a result of combining bones from a large Allosaurus with those of a sauropod. Sauropods were long-necked herbivores, suggesting a mix-up of epic proportions. This revelation throws the existence of Saurophaganax into question. Section 5. Torvosaurus, apex predator of the Jurassic. With Saurophaganax dethroned, the title of apex predator returns to Torvosaurus. This formidable carnivore, known from more complete skeletons, was truly a giant. Torvosaurus possessed a powerful bite and sharp teeth, perfectly adapted for taking down large prey. Its reign at the top of the food chain is now undisputed. The Morrison Formation, once thought to be ruled by the phantom king Saurophaganax, now reveals a more accurate picture of its prehistoric ecosystem. Section 6. Global Implications, the case of Lorinia. The findings from the Morrison Formation have implications beyond North America. The Lorinia Formation in Portugal is another treasure trove of late Jurassic fossils. It's here that Torvosaurus was also discovered, further cementing its widespread dominance. Interestingly, no Saurophaganax bones have ever been found in Lorinia. This absence makes sense in light of the recent study. If Saurophaganax was a case of mistaken identity, its remains wouldn't be found elsewhere. The Lorinia Formation, with its own unique collection of dinosaurs, reinforces the revised understanding of the late Jurassic world.